What's going on everybody? It's the Creative Fro checking back in for another episode of What I Wish I Knew Wednesday. And today we're gonna be talking about PMP. And that stands for Practice Makes Perfect. And now I really wish I knew about this because when I first started out, I really didn't practice much. I thought watching tutorials would get me to where I wanted to be. Then I shortly realized that is not the truth. Let me jump into a little bit more detail, but before I do, don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button if you have yet to already, and turn that notification bell on just for fun. So just like any athlete, doctor, teacher, it takes hours of practice to master your craft. I'm gonna tell you why practicing has helped me become a better creator. The first thing is when you go out and practice videography and photography, you get to try things outside of the box that you normally wouldn't do on a shoot or on a set that you had planned out. This gives you the chance to try new things to see if you like it or you don't like it. If you find something that you do like, you can implement that new move into your next video or you can try that new thing you tried on your next photo that you're gonna take. I like to make sure I at least get out once a week to practice for an hour at least. And what I like to do when I go out is spend a half an hour on something I already like a lot and I would classify as strength and then I'd spend the next half an hour trying something that is my weakness. For example, I'll go out and work on the gimbal for a half an hour. I feel like I can strengthen my skills still using that gimbal, so I'll do a half an hour of that and say another half an hour of drone work or just using the camera in general. If you spend one day a week for just an hour, that's four hours a month, you're putting towards just improving on your skill set alone. Another way to get some practice in is by saying yes to every single job that you get offered. Now say you get offered to do a wedding, and you've never done it before. Say yes, but take that time to research before the wedding what other wedding videographers and photographers have done before to get prepared and do their weddings and really make sure you're prepared. And then when you're actually doing the shoot, you're gonna see what you missed, what you like, what you don't like. You can curate the next wedding based on the mistakes you made on this wedding that you just shot. Say yes to everything because you don't wanna be one dimensional. Don't try to stick to sunrise and sunset. Yes, that is the best light, but you're not always given that time. So when it gets into situations where you don't have it, you know what to do. In general, just get uncomfortable. Get into situations you don't normally like to do because that's where growth starts to happen. You have to think outside of the box and you're not doing the typical thing that you're normally used to. So in the end, you're making yourself a better creator. Another tip I'd give when going about practicing is watch YouTube videos. I personally am a visual learner. I like to pop up some YouTube videos and get my notebook out and jot down the important parts almost like as if it was school and then go out and take those notes into my practices when I'm trying to learn something new and it will definitely help you get thinking outside of the box. So that's going to wrap up today's video. I just wanted to talk a little bit about practice because I wish I was practicing more when I first started out. It's only been more recently that I put aside time to actually go out and practice more outside of the shoots that I'm already doing. When you go all out on your practicing, when you get to your next job, you're gonna be ready to go. You won't be rusty, you know what you're gonna do, you've practiced all your shots, so you know what the outcome should look like. And like the video if you did, comment down below if there's anything you wish you knew, and share this video if you think it could help somebody. It's the Creative Fro, and I gotta go practice. Hey, people, I'm broke. I'm not